the function of the laboratory is to receive samples from the, the industry, samples that were taken from racing greyhounds, and to screen uh, them for the presence of prohibited substances. So they would be obviously substances of a doping origin, like drivers or stoppers, but the vast bulk of substances which are found are actually residues of therapeutic medication. These would be substances such as um, painkillers and anti-inflammatories. The industry takes about 5,500 samples each year and those samples are mainly urine. The, the samples arrive here in the lab um, with secure chain of custody and the analysis begins then. The sample is opened and a portion is poured from it. That sample then has to have the prohibited substances extracted from it. Solid phase extraction removes the, the urine contaminants. It leaves us with the drugs uh, and its breakdown products for which we want to analyze. When the substances have been extracted, they are then put into uh, a, a gas chromatograph or a liquid chromatograph. That separates out the substances and those two machines are very good at separating things out. The next step then is to identify them and for that we use a technique called mass spectrometry and the mass spectrometers are uh, put onto the end of you know, the GCs or the LCs. We have no knowledge whatever of the identity of the, the dog from which the sample was taken. All we receive is a code number and we then assign our own code to that as well. In terms of the profile of substances that we find, it's very much in accord with the profile found in uh, other racing jurisdictions. Main, the lab tests for, for, for many thousands of substances uh, either in, in, in the different techniques that we use.